there's a lot in store for merchanting in September. Here are my insights and how you can make profit this month. Hey guys, it's Define for Merch.com with BTS Merchant Review number 17. I hope you're all doing well. Let me know in the comments how your summer was and how your merchanting went. You can also post any merchanting questions you may still have after watching the video. Merch VIPs can also check the VIP advice section on the Merch.com forums for some extra tips. September's looking quite a bit better than August in terms of merchanting. This year we have the raffle again, which in itself is nothing to be happy about as the Death Touch darts will introduce at least a few thousand Nex items and Draggers into the game, as the bosses where everyone takes those darts are Nex, and for people who don't have the requirements, they go to the Calphite King. So you'll likely see uh, a lot of downward action going on with those items, for as far as that's still possible. Make sure to keep an eye on them for flips on short-term investments, and you should carefully study the release schedule of the raffle. People will likely be using darts around Friday and Saturday as the darts are released later on in the week, and you can use this knowledge to your advantage. Their life graph should be pretty handy to watch them move in price throughout the week so you can get the most out of them. Now, the waterfall fishing addition may lead to a drop in the supply of rocktails, which may gradually push their price up. While rocktails are very AFK as it is, you do still have to bank them and move around a fair bit. A lot of people may decide to switch over to AFK fishing at the waterfall instead, and additionally living minerals will thus have a bit less demand for what it's worth. We knew about the bonus XP weekend coming up, like I said, last month. Um, if you're not sure how to go about investing for this one, you can check my guide here as everything in it still very much applies. If you think it's too late to invest, you're first of all quite wrong, as I'm starting new investments almost daily as there are a lot of items being overlooked. Most people seem to focus on the same group of items for each bonus XP weekend, but you can make easy profit out of plenty of unusual items still. You just have to be a bit more creative about it than the same potions and the same summoning supplies every other weekend. Now, if you think merchanting around a bonus XP weekend is limited to stocking up on items long before the weekend, then you have a lot to learn still. A lot of gear and rare items will fluctuate a lot because of this weekend, as people are selling them off, others are rebuying them. It means a lot more movement uh, in the prices of pretty much all items, so there's really a lot more profit to be made around this time. Now this gives you a lot of opportunities, and also after the weekend, a lot of finished products like pouches, Dragonite stuff, potions, etc. will be cheaper as everyone's trying to sell off their stock. If you don't know how to go about any of this stuff, or how to invest, or when to buy what, when to sell what, you should definitely check out the guide as it should help to push you in the right direction. That's it for September really, there isn't much more to the month but other than the quest, which isn't really merchanting related. We'll also be adding another 10 new items to the life prices on merch in preparation for the bonus XP weekend. We've gotten some feedback from our merch members and thank you to everyone who gave their input, we'll be adding a bunch of your suggestions. I hope you all have a great month guys and I'll see you all again next week for another video.